Hi guys, okay, so today we are going to be unboxing some new things, new to me, they've been out for a while, but you know, your girl's a little slow, she's working her way up to it, working her way up to it, and then, uh, I'm gonna try this rainbow thing that I did today, because it went well, so, you know, hoping it goes well again. First we're gonna get into, actually this is new to everyone just came out so lied this is the new kilowatt highlighter from Fenty Beauty and it's hold on a second just acting up a little bit it's what a brat oh hold on I got a new camera I gotta get used to it <laughs> this is what a brat and um she's this oop I want it open. There it goes. It's like this really pretty pink. And when you swatch, it's like, oh, look at that. Look at that. Like, can I? Is it? <laughs> the lights just make it look so faint, but it's, it's, it, it is sheer, but it's like a pretty, pretty sheer pink. And that's going to be my new obsession for a while. I was obsessed with Trophy Wife. I was obsessed with the Diamond Ball, um, which I probably will be using today. And that's going to be my new obsession. I'm so excited. Next, also from Fenty Beauty. This one's not new. This has been around since <laughs> the line launched. I finally got the Invisimat powder um, just because I've been dying to try it and you know supposedly it's like Rihanna's secret superpower of how she stays matte like through uh, all her events and every time she's out so it has a little mirror and then that is the powder itself it does come with a pad so I guess that's convenient I've heard though that the brush is better but I'm not gonna pay like 20 something dollars for a brush so Sorry, Rihanna. I love you, but I love money more. I think you can understand that. So next, I have another NARS product. I was a little, like, hesitant to buy from NARS just because I don't think they're cruelty-free. Or at least I've heard they test on animals. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the truth is behind that. I'm sure I can Google it, but... I'm gonna live in ignorance for a little bit. Sorry. I got the liquid blush in Dolce Vita. Uh, I think this is one of the shades that is exclusive to Sephora. I'm not entirely sure, don't quote me on that. I've just never seen any shade other than Orgasm inside an Ulta, so could be wrong. Not really now, I, I'll, I'll get to that. Comes with a nice little pump. And I guess I will, you know what, hold on, I'll do it with this hand, this finger, so I can swatch. Oh, 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 hold on there. Okay, we're just gonna, I mean, it's like a nice, I, I love that color. I mean, for a blush, it's a little intense, but also, I'm not white. I'm not fair, I need some color if I want to blush, okay? So, if I'm gonna blush, I'm gonna blush. Sorry, I'm sure you're like, why is she looking up here? Why is she doing this? But I, I'm, I'm getting used to the camera. For me, I see myself and I want to look at myself. I'm gonna have to learn to edit that and to look at the lens. So, if I keep looking up, please don't judge me. See, I keep doing it. It's just, okay. Um, so that is that. And I'm actually going to be using my son's baby wipes because I'm out of makeup wipes. So don't judge me. I'm a resourceful mom. Can you hear my brother, like, playing guitar in the background? He plays, like, the same song every day. Come on, my man. There's something new freshen it up a little bit you know what I mean yeah okay so um 
this came out um, really watery. I don't know if I remember it being that watery inside Sephora. It, I don't mind it. It's just, I mean, a little goes a long way. That was like a single drop that went on my, excuse me. That was like a single drop that went on my finger and just when I swatched it, it went everywhere. So it is extremely pigmented. Uh, I made a mistake. So apparently <laughs> I hit the button and just like I said, a little goes a long way. So you can imagine what my life is right now. Sorry, Chrissy Teigen, your cookbook got blushed. Don't ask me why I have the Chrissy Teigen cookbook. I, I don't even know. But I do, okay? I do. Oh, I know what happened. The screw got loose. So some of it came out. <laughs> you know, this wasn't $30 for nothing. God, that was a hideous shot. Okay. I mean, I don't think I was swatching anything other than that Fenty stuff, so I guess my fingers are out for the day. So that is my second NARS item. I have this sheer glow foundation, which I think I've used before on this channel. Um, but if not, it, it is what I've been using a lot lately, so I'll be sure to do more looks with that foundation. Um, let's see what else did I have? Oh, I got like two, technically four more NARS things. Um, I did get the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil Duo, and they're, I think they're just minis. Uh, these are in Dolce Vita and Corella. I guess that's supposed to match my uh, blush. So this one is Dolce Vita, and these are just lippy pens, um, are they, to... yeah, okay, so they're matte, it's in the name, and, so, let's see, I mean, it's like a very nice, I want to, hold on, On camera, it looks a little like pinkish, but to me, it's like corally, but also I don't know. Also, orangey could just be me. I don't hate it, but I think I need to see it on my lips with a look or something for me to really know if I hate it or not. Okay, this is Corella. I mean, that's a red like a red red and I don't mm, I have like love hates with reds um every time I've worn like a, a bright brick red someone in my family or something will say I look like a clown um hello internalized racism but so that's made me like super uncomfortable with the color but I've also been told it looks good on my complexion, so, you know, I think it's just all in my head. So then I got another duo. This is in Damned and Valkyrie. This one here is Damned. I'm going to put it under Corella. That's more like a berry, but still um, red. Yeah, it's like a berry. I like it. It's not horrible. And then this is... Oh! Is that Walkery? I think I'm just saying Valkyrie because of Thor, but, you know? Okay. It's more like a brownish. Kind of nutty. Kind of reminds me of, um... Oh, Slow Ride, which is one of their um, liquid lipsticks, and it's one of my favorite colors, but of course it's never there, so apparently it's everyone's favorite color, and yeah, you know, gotta deal with it. Now, I know, I know that before I've said I was not going to get the Magic Paint Pot 
for when I use my James Charles palette. Well, lucky me, I didn't have to. It was gifted to me today. I can't say no. Also, a brush was gifted to me, which I believe is all. Yeah, it is. It's a MAC brush. First MAC brush I've ever owned. Oh, well, first time for everything, I guess. So I'm opening it. This is in Painterly. Hoping that means something. Um, this is the MAC 195 brush. I guess it's what they told the person who got me this works with this regular thing. So, just gonna pop it on. And I think I've seen people like go pretty high with it. So that's what we're gonna do. Now again, don't go out and buy this. I'm not telling you to go out and buy this. I'm not particularly a MAC fan. I think the only thing I've ever gotten from them, aside from this as a gift, is the Selena lipstick collections. And even then, the lipsticks weren't that great. I just got them for the aesthetic because Selena, you know? I've seen people produce dupes of this particular product. I think even e.l.f. has one. So if you really want it, just I would just go get the e.l.f. version. You know what? I think I will I'll do a video where I try the paint pot on one side and the e.l.f. one on the other side and see what the effects are. So it is pretty light and it's showing up on camera. It's not as light in person, but it does definitely look lighter on the screen. <sighs> so lately, I've been using the Jeffree Star brushes a lot for looks. Um, again, if you saw my last video where I talked about the brushes, he did not lie about the fact that you can do an entire eye look with these two brushes alone. And again, when I did the rainbow thing this morning, I'm getting kind of sick of this, Jeffrey. So I'm pulling my baby out. And we're just gonna dive in. Let's see if I remember this correctly. Indigo, blue, green, yeah, okay. So, it started from outer, inner. Doesn't necessarily mean that's how you have to start it, but that's how I started it. And I dip into this very beautiful, very real red. Hello. And just pack it on. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I'm sure I have if I've used this palette before. I have a horrible memory. I don't know if you can tell. You have to basically press to press powder. You basically have to like pat or press the powder in. You can't just immediately go in and try to blend it out. Um, it's the best way to get the pigment. So go in. Ooh. There's a little bit uh, more orange than usual. And then I remember it this morning. Or it could just be because I actually have the proper base for it now. Oops. I actually didn't bring it up that high this morning, but no, fuck it. Going on the other eye, that same red. So I just had the lighting a little bit. Uh, so this really bright, fun orange. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and lay that next to that red, but slightly press it on top of the red 
So it kind of starts to blend and then I'll go in with the blending brush and we'll do that. I'm not going to blend it yet, I'm just going to go in with the other eye and repeat. Okay. Take my fluffy bend blending brush. Bending? What the hell? I'm just going in really small circular motions. It may kind of dull this one out, but that's fine. We can always go back and add more. And after that orange, I go in with B. This is one of the only shades I can remember the name of. Um, and put that right next to the orange. Add it on top a bit, or orange a little, bring it up, and see, you can see it starts to transition, the orange gets lost a little, but we'll fix that. And you don't necessarily have to go back and add more if you like the way it's transitioning. The point is that you, you should at least see a hint of what that color in the middle should be. So, fluffy brush. Buff it out a little. You see, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's red, a little orange, yellow. So there is that transition. But I'll I'll go back with a little bit more just to see. Just to see how it looks. I am going in with this green here. I think I think it's called. I think it's called Daddy. I'm not sure. I know one of these shades is called Daddy and I'm uncomfortable. Pop that on right next to the yellow. This one you don't necessarily have to pack on right against the yellow. Just because I feel like it would just end up looking green. If you know what I mean. The Luffy brush. Wait a second. Little circles. See, it takes some of it away. But again, if you want a little bit more color, just go back. Just add more. Until you get the color you want. Or the saturation you want. This is your fantasy. You do what you have to do. So the next, I'm going to go in with this blue here. I think it's called Cola. And that will be right next to the green. Now this one you want to be a little careful with because that green is so light and pretty. And this blue is, it will take over. So you just have to be really careful with placing it. Brush, brush. This one is a little harder to blend. So you really gotta kinda manipulate it. I look like those clown wigs. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. And I go in with this purple here. And dip a little bit back into that cola color to make my indigo. And 
and just pack that on the rest of the lid space. Okay. So my camera stopped for uh, God knows why long. Why long? Okay. God knows how long. But I did go back and add a little bit more blue next to that indigo color. This looks looking a little patchy for some reason, so I'm gonna go back. So, I mean, I think. Mm, oh, hold on, hold on. I mean, I think it. Okay, just just take my one eye out. I think it transitions pretty well. That's just me. <laughs> what the fuck do I know? Don't trust my dumbass. But you know, I did what I thought I had to do. So then I guess I'll do a full face. Since this is pretty much it. I guess I'll use my Fenty Beauty Primer. I haven't used it in a while. Don't feel like digging out my Tatcha. I don't know where I put it. Oh, that's cold. Oh my god. Why is it so cold? Oh, Jesus. It's freezing. I think it's just my hands, actually. So then I'm going to go in with my NARS foundation. This is the Sheer Low Foundation in Tahoe. Don't know if you can see that, but that's what it's called. Put some on the back of my hand. So, if you've been here before, you know that I'm a gross human being who doesn't wash her brushes immediately after she uses them. So my brushes are due from this morning. If you see some some buildup, you know, just mind your business. Going in with my Jeffree Star Super Size Queen and buffing it out. We are blowing up. What is going on? All of a sudden, everybody wants to be my friend again. Then I'm going to go in with my Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. This is in 310. Okay. A little goes a long way, supposedly. Wouldn't know because I was just slabbing it on like, like it didn't cost me. It didn't cost me nothing. Going with my finger because I've found I actually prefer that lately. So, you know, we're going to follow my wishes. Then, I'm going to try something that I've seen Rihanna do. Those are words I never thought I'd say in my life. And press the powder into my under eye. It's supposed to uh, help, I guess, brighten it and also set it. Um, just gonna go with my eye again really quickly. Get all those nooks and crannies. And then I'm gonna grab the pad, sponge, whatever you wanna call it. Put some product on there, can't do nothing, whatever. Put some product on there and then go to town. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. Hold on now, Rihanna. I might have done something a long time ago that I'm just now experiencing. Please, you know, validate me. Not only is it mattifying, like, mad bitch, but it, it, you know, it says what it's.
Robin. Girl, you need to stop playing, all right. I've had enough. Grabbing my ColourPop, ooh, hold on now. Going in with my ColourPop no filter uh, setting spray. Setting spray, what is, I'm, I'm having like a stroke. Setting powder and with my Jeffree Star powder brush and just setting the rest of the face. You don't have to set the face, um, which is something I've learned that I prefer because it kind of helps me. I'm very oily and it just kind of helps settle that immediately. Then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Matchstick. This is in Truffle. Um, warm it up slightly on the hand. And then just, oops. So I've learned, if I could remember where I would say, um, someone said somewhere, Gandhi, that if you put wherever you're gonna start the contour, put the brush or the stick, whatever, right there, and then fill up your wrist, and wherever your wrist flies off, that's where your natural contour line should end. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, this contour brush is, like I said, I, I didn't brush, I didn't wash it. What do you want me to say? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm lazy in the mornings and I have to get to work. YouTube's not paying me for this. I guess that's as good as it's gonna get. I usually do the forehead and like the chin, but it's just light. I'm not going out. It's coming right off as soon as I'm done. I already lived my life in this look today. That's it for me. It's a wrap. Um. the Dolce Vita blush. Hopefully, you know, it doesn't get everywhere this time. Pump. Pump it up. Pump, pump it up. And just pat that out. Oh, that's... It doesn't look like that much in person, but it looks like a lot in camera. I'll tell you what. Points were made. It, it could also just be that I'm not used to wearing blush, so even this is too much for me. Then I'm gonna go in. Actually, no, I'm gonna wait for that. I'm gonna go back to my Fenty Beauty concealer and then grab a flat brush this is the morphe m410 and i kind of just dip into the wand and clean up the lines you know i love clean line bitch Put it down a little, and then I just, I typically finish it off with a finger pat. I'm gonna do my Pat McGrath liner. Go to town. Then grabbing my Benefit Roller Liner to make that wing. And 
and and mascara and lashes I'm not going to sorry uh, and the lines all fucked up but you know what it's getting late my camera's about to die and I don't care anymore so I'm gonna go in with the kilowatt highlighter in what about and um, where is the iconic so then I'm going to dip into this with the brush and hit Hi She's so cute Oh my god Just hit that and shake bone and go to your masterpiece Masterpiece Gonna finish it off with I'm actually gonna go in with that one I keep calling Valkyrie. <laughs> oh, it's sticky. But like, not like a bad sticky. It's just, it's not the texture I was expecting. And it's very nudish on me. But I don't hate it. I'm kind of in love with it. Go figure. And that is it. Um, I hope this was educational. I hope it was fun. I hope you like it. Um, yeah. So, don't forget to subscribe. Comment below and let me know things that you want to see. Things you want to hear me talk about. Um, things you want to see reviewed. Also, do not forget to tell your friends about me. Hit the notification bell. If and when you want to see my new videos pop up immediately on your feed. Oh, isn't that cool? Thank you guys so much for watching. Probably going to have a new video up soon. I'm going to Palm Desert to see some friends. And, you know, we might collab. We'll see.